Hey. <laughs> What's up? You tap my shoulder. I'm only asking. <laughs> well... Oh. <laughs> you wanted to... You wanted to go somewhere. Where? To a restaurant? After work? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Are you sure you want to go with me? No. Your friends decided they couldn't come. Now it's strange. I know you have many friends. And we don't talk much, so I really appreciate the offer. Will it be right after school? I mean, work. Sorry, I have my mind on a... Other things. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to have to pick me up from my place or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well. I'll be seeing you then. I have to go back to my office. I'll meet you after work, okay? Oh, and you're paying, right? <laughs> okay, darling. I mean, uh, huh? I'm sorry, I just call people that sometimes. I, uh, I have to go now. I'll see you after work. No, oh, jeez, did I really just slip up? Oh, Lord. I mean... They are really... Really cute. I, I can't believe I just slipped up like that. Honestly, I'm very flustered. Jeez. Anyway, I need to go ahead and complete my job. What was I doing again? Ah, uh, right. I'll write this here and... Time sure does fly by. <laughs> it really does. What time is it? Oh, it's time for me to go ahead and get off work. Time to go home. Wait. <gasps> oh. Oh, I'm supposed to meet them. Oh, jeez, I do wonder where we're gonna go eat. Oh. Hey, I didn't expect you to meet me at my office halfway. You were already on your way over? <laughs> yeah, I do find myself, um... Working a little hard than I'm supposed to. <laughs> I appreciate you more than anything. So... 
why don't we go ahead and go? Yeah, I already have all my stuff. So, which car do you drive? I'll leave mine here and I can come back and pick it up. Well, when you drop me off, that is. I don't imagine we'll be staying out too late. <laughs> of course I'll enjoy my time with you. But I have to go home eventually, don't I? <laughs> well... Oh! You have such a nice car. I mean it, it's nicer than mine. And well, I love my car, but my... Yours might take the cake. <laughs> Opening the door for me? Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you. Wow, it's roomy, too. <laughs> so, where are we eating? Really? I love that place. Did you want to go somewhere first? A nearby park? Hmm, can I trust you? Well, it's strange to go to a park before. Let's go after we eat. Then we can enjoy the nice sunset. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Is something wrong with your car? And how far is this restaurant? It feels like we've been driving for about two hours now. We should be there. But we're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, and... Your car, it feels like it's slowing down. It'd be awful for it to stop here. <laughs> We've only been driving for about 45 minutes. We just happen to be in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, I think your car came to a complete stop. Oh, what happened? Your car whiz, you will check it out? Fine, be my guest. Huh? <laughs> you can't get out of... You can't get out? Oh, well, let me help you. How do I do that? You're right, how do I? Oh, am I opening my door? I'm sorry, I can be such a clot sometimes. Here, let me open my door. Uh, open my door. Um, I can't. Hmm. You might need to call roadside assistance. The last thing I want to do is damage your windows and drive like that. Most certainly. The only way we're really going to be able to get out of here is if they can help us. 
And, well, you should probably tell them to bring a few windshields. You think we should only have to smash one? I think they'll be able to open the door. There could be something from outside stopping us from getting out. Maybe the lock is jammed? Yeah. You have a call button right here. You have the subscription service, right? Shouldn't be a problem, then. So while we're waiting on the hold... Why did you decide to take me out, huh? No one just drives a... A friend that just met about a 45 minutes to a restaurant. And, uh... I know you've been looking at me. Of course I do. I notice everything. Everyone. And... I've noticed you. And you know, it's quite awkward to say... But none of your friends could go to the restaurant with you. You are a rather popular individual, you know that? <laughs> so the only thing I can understand is, this is an undercover date. Not just hanging out. And I have to say, I've taken a liking to you. Whether it's not knowing where the hell I'm going, or your car breaking down. Everything about you is just so relaxing to me. And not only that, you're charming. And, quite frankly, I do have to say. I am in love with all things you. <laughs> Maybe I sound like a crazy woman, but I wouldn't mind dating you, even though we hardly know each other. <sighs> oh, there it is. Talk. Tell them. That we're stuck. That your doors aren't opening. Oh, great. Somebody's actually nearby. Looks like we're kind of stuck until then. <laughs> I'm just a little bit sleepy from working really hard all day. <laughs> You're very sweet. I would love to use your shoulder. <laughs> it's so soft and so relaxing. I could probably fall asleep like this. That's for your cheek. And that's also for giving me such a nice afternoon. Even if we don't go, I'm happy being here with you. Why don't we just relax? Turn on some music. And... We can sleep until they come. Or relax. Hmm? You had a question to ask me? Don't I go to college? 
What made you bring that up? Oh. Earlier I'd asked after school, huh? No, I don't. I just... I had a very similar situation when I was in school. Although that person didn't respect my boundaries. I know you do. And that's why I've taken a liking to you. Do you understand? <laughs> Do you mind if I take a small nap? And maybe we can go to the restaurant when I wake up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Again. <laughs>